Can you do Brachiation for us? Come on. We deserve. Yay! We deserve that. Choppy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a zoo tour of Dortmund Zoo. Today, we're going to tour this wonderful zoo that has been sent into my channel, so to say, and I'm going to, uh, yeah, explore the Dortmund Zoo today. We are here in a recreation of uh, the zoo in the city of my most favorite football club in the world, Borussia Dortmund, and uh, this is obviously a German zoo. I have not been there, so uh, it's really uh, interesting to see what this is all about. So maybe I've got... Have to to go there afterwards and then compare. So first of all, let's have a look what is over, uh, over here. So first of all, we've got uh, the jaguar, the llamas, the flamingos, the tropical house, the exit, and we've also the round cores. Now I should say I have some graphical settings uh, enabled as you can maybe tell with some depth of field and some brightening and you know, everything about Ansel. I, I do love that and I really hope it's gonna give you a bit of a better tour. So let's see what we can find over here. So the round cores. Oh, look at that, the camels. There you go. And then we've got the uh, peafowl, and we've got the, this is the, um, oh boy, how's that called in English? Uh, I think this is the, uh, yeah, uh, if we're there, I can, uh, the, the pangolin, the pangolin, the pangolin, that's, that's the one it is. Some wobbly path over here, man, you're proud of yourself, aren't you? Hello? Okay, this way, oh, he, I think he's not proud, he's just making sure not to fall over with this steep little pathway over here. <laughs> Love that, okay, so, um... I'm not sure if I can go here or if that, this just looks like uh, backstage. I'm gonna go the round course as it's uh, meant to be, I guess. On the left hand side, we've got a classical zoo habitat, one of these older ones. You, you know, I think we also have to look at that as something that is pretty old. Maybe this is also like a, this looks like an empty one. Maybe there is no animal in here anyways, uh, just because it has been existing in the past and now it's overgrown. I like that little detail here. Hey, just don't go into my camera, okay? Look, there are the camels. Why no dromedaries though? I, I guess it's it's basically because there are the back drain camels. Most of the times there are back drain camels in uh, zoos, which in German you say Trampeltier. Uh, a bit of tr trivia here. So um, most zoos also call it Trampeltier. Um, so yeah, this is a very classical <laughs> old city zoo camel habitat. I uh, gotta say, nothing too surprising. It just looks very familiar, doesn't it? Uh, also, like with the tree cover over here, backstage there, camel here. Arr, I can make the same sounds. Arr, it's me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Okay, so left hand side is round course. Right hand side is the. Uh, uh, oh look at that! The porcupines actually in here. Um, the Sumatra house, the Tasmanian devil. So it's pretty new actually with the new animals. I didn't know that. Um, the new tiger house actually. It's a new one. It's the Neue Tiger House. Um, yeah, let's let's follow the round course. And there we've got the prairie dog in front of us. Let's have a little look if we can catch one or two maybe. Hello, fellow friends. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Look, it's coming towards us. Also tried some more happy music today for the tour. I mean, I, I still love the Planet Zoo music, but it's it's getting a little bit too many chilly vibes. And uh, you guys uh, told me that you want more happiness and stuff in, in, in the videos. So uh, here I am to deliver. Look at that. The police just crashed over here. How dare you? Um, also, who's living in here? Hello? Hello? It's looking also pretty overgrown and as if there's like a band or something in here. Oh, but wait, there's there's actually some meat on the ground. Who am I missing? Who's living in here? It should be... Oh, it is the Tasmanian Devil, actually. Oh, this this is kind of like an Australian kind of theme then going on. Okay, but where are you guys? Also, I have this issue. Maybe it's the same issue in here that these guys... Yeah, it's the same issue that I also have. Uh, the Tasmanian Devil for me in this game is broken. It just kind of gets stuck wherever it is and then you have to reset it. But after a couple of minutes, it's actually reset again and idles at one position. I'm really not sure what that is. Not really sure what that is, but okay. See, here it goes nothing. I think also I should lower down the volume a little of the music. So uh, I'm just I'm just exactly doing this right now uh, for you guys. Have you seen that? Oh, I love it. How it's gonna get there. But I'm just going to lower the volume a tiny bit. So that makes hopefully a bit more enjoyable for you guys. Loved how this little prairie dog just came out of the little hole. Really big fan of that one. Okay, now let's continue our little pathway here to the left and right hand side. This looks like some bisons and there's also like a white bison, like an albino one. I barely saw these. I'm not sure if there's an albino one in Dortmund Zoo. Uh, might be, might not be, who knows. And this is the new tiger house, I guess. It's the Bengal tiger. Interesting. Oh, I love that. Look at that. There's the tiger. Oh, 
Damn. That really looks good. That really does look good. Let's just try to get it closer here. I'm just going to run over as like a little kid. Ooh, there you go. Oh, I love that. Look at the vista here. Come on, get into the sunlight. You may become my uh, wonderful thumbnail over here. Yeah. Look at you. Woo! Oh my god, hello. Coming even closer. You made our show cat. Hello. Look, that is beautiful. Just looking at the animal like this. It's wandering around. Ah, this this game can just be so absurdly beautiful. Look at you. Yeah, that is so cool. That is so, so damn cool. All right, so, um, look, my god. It's really showing off here, isn't it? Are you going into the water right now? Or what are you doing? Okay, whatever. Um, but look at this. I mean, this is also so modern, you know, having this, like, uh, viewing area in front. And then you've got the water ditch as, like, a natural barrier to make sure that the people can see actually a lot. And then you've got these uh, wonderful things that we got with the um, walkthrough exhibits, the PVC kind of uh, stripes, you know. Really, really am a big fan of it. So, yeah. Actually, I gotta say, the zoo is built with... A you know, simplicity, but I like it because it's like an old city zoo and I guess that is what it just should be. Um, simple yet effective. This habitat is not simple by any means, by the way. It just looks good. Also, very brave on the usage of uh, trees and stuff around, which I think sells the realism even more. Um, what do we have over here? So we've, we've seen that one. This is the new tiger house and this is the old the tiger trail and the porcupines are over there as well. We gotta go into the house. Oh, look at that! There's, there's another one. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna go over here soon, but first of all, it should not be the same, right? But if you go into the tiger house, is this actually combined tiger house? Ah, oh, that is so cool. Tigers do spring up uh, to spring, my god, do jump. This is just jump, reading German. And yeah, they, they do jump in spring <laughs> up until eight meters uh, is insane. I can't do that. Look at that. Hello, my friend. You're gonna go for a sleep. Yeah, okay, so it's not the same. Um, I love the way of connecting the ropes over here with the rope pieces. Ooh, love it. Okay, so now it's actually two habitats, but very cleverly combined. So, in fact, realistically, it should be one. Let me just have a little glimpse here in the background. Ah, okay, so that is very cleverly done. So it is two habitats indeed, but um, this leads then into the tiger trail, which is also realistic because you mostly do not have the same in the same habitat. They just do not really get along too well. Um, does this have to be like, is there like some red light in here? Red light, spilled danger. Okay, um, that's sweet having this tunnel over here. Look at that. That was a great, oh, that wasn't, wasn't that a jump? Is this a baby? Are you a baby? Oh, look at that. Some tiny babies. Some cubs. Love it. Eating the piñata just in front of us. Okay, so that is the tiger trail over here, like a little tunnel. There's one swimming in the water. That's not a baby. That's a more adult one. But I do love the uh, authentic look of this habitat. This really screams like a more modern tiger habitat with a lot of um, hidden viewing angles so that you don't disturb the animal too much. But then at the same time, I mean, look at it. Ah, oh, boy, that looks superb. Gosh. So this time around, I don't even need to make like a thumbnail because that legit is the thumbnail of the video. It looks so good. Really good. Really, really good. I do love that. Okay, so this is like a little bit of an open field. What else is over here? Is this the porcupine? Oh, no, this is a... Uh, I, I want to follow the pig. Um, the red one. Hello. But it's a, in German, it's a different different wording. But yeah, I love it. This is this is one of the most simple habitats ever. Is this all like? Oh, okay. Never mind. What, what, what is this even? Is this from the other side? Is that? I can't even tell what that is. Whatever. It's like a little glitch. I don't care. Um, <laughs> what is in here? Uh, look at that little one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not like yeah. It's an exhibit animal. <laughs> it's just me. I you know this is that. Uh, this is the German word for it. Oh my god! Let's turn it to the other side. We can't read that. It's the um, Pinselohrschwein, which is the Red River Hawk. Is Pinselohrschwein. There's no similarity in the name whatsoever. It's insane. That would be in English translated in English would be something like uh, the oh my god what's what's it's not a pen. It's uh, what's pinsel in English. My god, I don't know what what that is. It's like pen ear 
pig, kind of something like that. Um, it, at least this tool where you're drawing with like watercolor and stuff with. Um, may I have a burger or something for the moment? I'm actually hungry, thank you. Uh, I'm actually hungry, I haven't, ha I haven't had my food today. So I'm hangry in a way. This is like a, is this like a viewing tower? Let's go up here. Oh, this is just staff area. Never mind. I didn't want to disturb you having your lunch. Okay. Uh, they're going to run down. Like, hey, I've been there. <laughs> I'm just running down. Uh, more backstage area. This is an entrance to the building. I don't want to go here. Um, this is the porcupine. Look at that. Ooh, wait. That is so good. Ah, that wall looks fantastic. I should have been more brave using that one. This is looking really nice. Uh-huh. Wonderful. Swifty will be very pleased by now, but so this is staff area. I should see that from the ground. Um, okay, so on that side, this is the Planet Zoo sign. <laughs> and in here, oh, look at that. There's um, the Red Crown Crane. Oh, sweet little glass house. Love it. It's it's simple, but it's effective. We got the Porcupine Hobby. That was a loud yawn. What was that animal? We're gonna see that in a second. But this is where the porcupines are, the little ones. This is actually a little one. Where are your parents? Are they roaming around? Or are they stuck as well? I, I assume that they are in like a little cave or something. But I'm very glad that the little one is outside. At least someone is putting a show out for us. Uh, okay, so that is this. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got the new tiger house where we've just been. This is the exit. We we still continue that route. We've got llamas there. We've got the old tiger habitat coming up in a second. That is interesting. Um, so let's follow up the round course, I should say. So what is going on here to the right hand side? Oh, look at that. The orangutans. I love that. This is a gorgeous climbing frame. I gotta say though, obviously this seems to be and should be inspired by real world um, climbing frames. And this is one of my biggest issues, I think at some point with the game, you can actually go nuts and recreate all the climbing frames that realistically exist. But if you do so, most of the times, um, it just does not work in the game with the game's logic, which is such a pity. And I think if I would ever think about a Planet Zoo 2, I think one of the biggest leaps they could make is like with the locomotion system of especially of climbing. I think diving and stuff is already pretty decent, but climbing, oh my god, there is so much to improve about that. But it's also it is also amongst the hardest things you can ever do, I guess. That is some bold great AC unit stuff, uh, heat unit, energy stuff. I this this thing, transformer, realism. I'm sorry that I'm just going nuts over here, but my god, that looks so cool. I remember when I did this for Yosemite, and I was like, oh yeah, I need something like that in a game. I need this. I don't really know why I didn't do that more often. Um, what is this over here, by the way? It's a restaurant. Uh huh. Where do I find my seats then? Is that in here? What is what's going on? Is this like the old overgrown tiger habitat? Oh, that's the wall of history, with no history. I should have downloaded stuff, I guess. Um, I presumably forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> my God, sorry. So yeah, we. This is the uh, history of uh, Dortmund Zoo. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I guess this is the old tiger habitat then, because that makes just sense. Um, yeah, exactly. Oh, look at that. We've got the uh, bears coming up. Um, this is the badger. It's actually crazy. I do know all the names in English, but once I read the, uh, the, the German ones, <laughs> let's see, my, my, it's so hard to see that and then just uh, completely think about it again. Um, so yeah, my friends, you have had a good time in here. I just want to go into the house real quick in the tropical house. Uh, just really quick, I'm just going to go out again, but I just want to have a look. Oh, ah, ha. It's so clever, the usage of this planter is so so good it's getting crowded in here also look at that putting some stuff in um yep this is so cool so basically this is just the it's so clever to have this like a raised path over here and then uh green danger having like a huge monstera plant over here have some more education about the Bor boronian orangutan and then you got over here. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go further in here. I want to continue the round course. But this is this is very interesting. 2006 being built, I guess. It's quite a while ago. But that is also when uh, the World Cup has been in Germany. Not not sure if that's something 
I mean, you know, if I were a zoo and uh, there's such a huge event coming up where people also would spend some other time in the city, I would definitely build something like that for then. But yeah, let's go further. Oh my god, that is the owl habitat, which unfortunately will not have owls, right? Yeah. Nah, that would have been so cool. That would have been so, so good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dang it. Okay, uh, never mind. So yeah, we just imagine some owls in here. Still, I hate that, you know, we don't have that. Let's go to the other side because that's where the round cars presumably goes. Hello! Run, 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 run. <laughs> okay, so look at that. Losing a bear on top of it. Love that. I always wonder from which zoos these things are inspired. Like, clearly they are inspired by certain zoo things. I, Whenever I see something like that, I guess the people of friends who have seen this maybe done with another animal, maybe with like a, I don't know, giraffe or so, and then they did this for the bear. But other than that, like some sometimes I think we forget how beautiful these assets are, you know? Look at that one, that's just such a beautiful asset they've created. But anyways, this is the bear habitat. Um, look at that, the sun bear. Not sure if it's actually the sun bear living in here. Could be any other bear, it was a spectacle bear or whatever. Uh, but uh, this is that. Let's see if it's outside. Or maybe it's in a tree. Maybe we're gonna catch up in a, in a tree. It's not in a tree, but we do have like a what lookout tower. Maybe we're gonna catch it later. Okay, wait, there, there it is, there it is. It's just by the water. Oh my god, you've been, you've been caught in a fight, haven't you? Ooh, I hope you're doing better soon, my friend. So they are looking at the, uh, at a new habitat, this is the new, something new. Maybe this is like a habitat for peafalls. I, I, I assume that should be the peafall in here, right? Or maybe something, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, well, we're gonna go on. Um, because this just looks good. I love that. Are you a sun bear by any means? It's idling, by the way, as well. I, yeah, they have to get rid of this issue, especially for tourists. This is a no-brainer um, that this is the biggest issue you could ever have. Like, if animals idle and just do not move again, that is, that is not great. So, speaking of great, this is the sea lion habitat, and I'm not sure what they have done, or if it's modern or not. Oops, that was an autosave. Um, but I gotta say that from all the zoos I know around, this looks, at least from the first glance, the best sea lion habitat I know of. Um, I know that most of the other zoos in my region are rebuilding the sea lion habitats at the moment, but it doesn't matter if you have, like, Duisburg, um, if you've got, uh, you know, Zoom in Gelsenkirchen, or if you've got the Krefelder Zoo or Cologne Zoo, all of the sea lion habitats are somewhat critical, I would say say the least. They are super small, super old. Most of them, for whatever reason, are super dark and I don't know. I'm really happy to see modern, more modern ones like that one. Um, though I have to say, as I do not know the zoo, it might actually be one of these habitats that the creator of the zoo has actually added uh, on its own. Uh, if so, that is a beautiful creation on your own, by the way. <coughs> but yeah. I think there's also a way to go down, right? So we've got the We've got a seating area. I see. Ooh, I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck somewhere. Hello, hello. How how and why am I stuck? Okay, let's. Uh, okay, excuse me. I can't move. What 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 the heck? Okay. Okay. This is this is actually weird. Let me just go and fly real quick. For whatever reason, I couldn't. I think this is because of the race path. It, the game just ca can't deal with it. I don't know what this is. Um, there you go. But as we are down, I think I can just go back into the explore mode. I'm sorry, breaking the illusion for a second here, but the game just... This is such a... This is such a corner. That's such a such a zoo corner. You can actually tell that's so boring, but it's just realistic. Uh, yeah, my god, that is bare bones. <laughs> but this is how zoos are sometimes. It's like, they, they don't build like I do. You know, going for realism means boredom at some point. I don't know. I love it. We could have sunk that one at least into the ground. I, I've never seen these things just like standing in the habitats though. Just as a little friendly little hint. Okay, so I have no idea if... Okay, can I, can I run again? Yeah, okay. Am I right height? Yeah. There you go. There's the watch out tower. I want to go there first. So, ah, I think the badger should be somewhere around. Maybe we've missed the badger somehow. This is where the round course continues. Not sure if we will get back to the viewing platform, so I'm just gonna go there first because I want to have a look with the viewing platform. Let's go up here. And hopefully the game will let me actually go up here. Wait, ah, I was about to say it does, but eh. 
Okay, so there you go. Look, this is the bear habitat. The bear at least got out of idling. Maybe the badger is back in there. I think this is where the badger is. Shall we just run over real quick and have a look at the badger? I think we just do that, right? Let's go. Let's go. You know, we were just missing out on that one real quick. But I think we can just storm back as if we are Usain Bolt over here and uh, using our speed. Just gonna go and go around here because I don't want to get stuck again. Just gonna do it that way. Sneakily running around. And go back in here and then just around the corner. I think this is where the badger lives, right? Let's have a look. I mean, they are nocturnal, so that makes sense, I guess, in a way. So, Freunde, if I'll. Okay. And then... Or is this, like, implied, maybe? Because it should be in here, shouldn't it? And this is definitely, again, another implied habitat. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe we didn't miss out. Just storming back here and follow the course. At least we tried. At least we tried. Let's go around that corner here. Noise. I love it. I, I, I do really like the habitat. It, it's actually looking also like a cool pool, which I would enjoy swimming in. No, well, whatever. Is this the penguin? Is this the penguin? No, this is sea, another sea lion. Is this still part of the habitat? Wow. That is an enormous habitat then. And I, I absolutely like it. So save the tiger. Interesting. So that is like a little conservation wall. Mm-hmm. Just like a little element in here. I do like that. This is also very realistic. I do that way too seldom. Like, you know, Zeus and such have like shrines and something like that to actually think of animals and make sure that, you know, uh, you're reminded of preserving them. And yeah, I don't know. I do this way too seldom. This should be another implied one, right? This looks like birdie stuff. Or maybe predator stuff. We we'll see in a second. Ah, okay, there's like a rubbing pad. That is definitely predator. There you go. I can spot a jaguar. Hello. Okay. Let's have a look. So this is um, uh, the giant otters are over here. Penguins are over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, wait just around the corner. Um, I just wanted to see. So, oh, this was the um, the sun bear is, is the Taiwan. I'm not sure. Anyways, but the sea lions were in here. Okay. So we've got the um, house of cats. So this is the house of cats. We've got the uh, lynx and we've got the, the rhino. We've got the giant otter and the penguins over here. Let's quickly check mark these two. Uh, so this should be the giant otter, right? Yeah. Giant otter to, uh, reporting for duty. Kind of, I don't know. They, they are like... They are like little fighting creatures. And so, you know, reporting to duty weirdly fits with those, I guess. Look at them having a beautiful, typical zoo habitat. Okay, so there's nothing too too exciting about this, but um, who am I to say? If that's the zoo, it's the zoo. Okay, maybe we see the penguins later. I don't want to go too far away from the round course because I don't want to make this video like two hours long and I want to see the kitties. So first of all, let's start with that one over here. Our friend, oh, is this actually, hello? This could also be the Amo Leopard, by the way. Um, but it's idling again, right? Um, it might be the email. Oh, it actually is the, but whatever. Who is living in here? This is the piñata habitat, okay. <laughs> um, can I not go into the house of cats? Is this like just like a outside thingy? I'm just gonna break in and have a little look. Okay, so, oh my God, this is so good. Do -do 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 -do. So this is where the habit, okay. This is the, the backstage entrance. Right, okay, so it's actually a house only for two. Or maybe this is maybe this is implied yet again, so that the this the same animal lives in both sides of the habitat. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um Okay, well ever this is I hate the fact that it still is idling in here. Eh. My friend, how are you doing? Yeah. It's the Amy Leopard. I know that another one was um, was escaped, and I fixed this before I started the zoo, but not sure what exactly happened. Okay, let's go around here and check out what else we have. So this is the Lynx ship. Why people run into here? What is in here? Is that the? Oh wait, there's a, there's another viewing spot. I should I should have just used the the right one. This must be the Lynx, right? Because that is that looks like a perfect Lynx habitat. Uh, there you go. Oh, there is one. 
Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know, you can really tell if like in a European city zoo or a European zoo, animals that come from our continent or our region, I should say, our biome, fit in the most. And so this habitat really resembled exactly this. Yeah, very overgrown, very nice. I do like it. I really do like it. Okay, let's continue our little tour. I honestly have no idea where we are right now. So I have not, no idea if we are close to the to the end or not. Um, I completely lost track of where we are. This uh, looks like a desert house and you can call me excited because this is something I also... Wait, this is the house of cats? Ah, okay. Interesting. Um, what kind of cats do we have in here? The, the caracal? Interesting. And on, on the other side, we've got the sand cat. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Um, I mean, if we see it. <laughs> Where are you? Little Egyptian vibes. There you go. It's like running around in the background. Hmm. Sweet. Wait, but then there is like a video in here. Is this like a Planet Zoo video? Oh yeah, that's the trailer actually. So clever that they have the trailer in here. I didn't really know about that one. I forgot. Um, so this is the Caracal should be living in here, right? Oh, there you go. It's actually in the little shelter in the middle. It's such a beautiful animal. And I wonder, we should actually do something for the Caracal soon. I've really, this is one of my, maybe the one animal that I love, but I've never done a proper habitat for. I, I don't really know why. I've not really done too much research about those, but... I think it's a fun challenge to go for the caracal at some point. Look at all the dedication. We've got had Max, Lisa, Emil, and Conrad. Or like in German, Max, Lisa, Emil, Conrad. There you go. I mean, I'm German, so I should actually read German names in German. Um, yeah, well, we've seen that one. Little toilet over here. Um, look at that. Oh, this is from the workshop. I love this one. The little card. Yeah, speaking of Plan Zoo 2, if Plan Zoo 2 will improve anything, um, you know, after the climbing, obviously, this is that, you know. Do this. This would be, this would be lit. Okay. Uh, no idea again where we are, but uh, I'm intrigued by these habitats. What's going on here? So that looks like, ooh, hello, the clouded leopard should be living in here. Is that different? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm already loving it. Is there actually the Clouded Leopard in Dortmund? Because if so, sign me up. I'm 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 almost there. <laughs> really love it. Okay, sweet. This is cool. I'm gonna go to the other side and see what's living in here. Maybe I should go here. What is that? Ooh. The fossa. The fossa is living in here. Small fossas, big fossas, a lot of fossas. Uh-huh. Very cool. Let's go around here if we have another viewing angle. This seems to be the rhino. Dee 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 dee. Cool. Very hidden. Very overgrown. Again, this is something I'm always jealous of when people do this. And this happens when you do recreations. Um, simply because it looks good if it's so overgrown. But I'm always like, I'm always like, ah, you have to see the animal and blah, blah, blah. But it, it just makes sense. Also, this is the clouded leopard in German. It's the Nebelpader. Um, but I think there's an R missing. Should be the Pader. Anyways, um, for, I'm not sure if that's true. And I, I really do like the fact that this is at least somewhat of a similar name. Clouded is basically the same as uh, Nebel. But the thing is, in English, that just works better with the pattern, while in German that doesn't work, like with the with the fur pattern. But okay. Um, because in, like it, just to explain, okay, we are in here, we are like a little German lesson, if you will. Um, clouded means bewölkt in German, mostly. And Nebel is basically hazy, if you will. Um, so, I, you know, it, it would be the hazy leopard, if you will, but Para then again isn't leopard. So it's a totally different name, but it still means somewhat of the same. Um, because the pattern, for whatever reason, in German, inspired by haze rather than clouds which makes no sense so English is a bit more distinct in this sense I guess and I would argue that the naming is from the English uh, from like an English scientific 
standpoint, whatever. And then it just makes sense for German to at least do it in a bit of a different way. So yeah, that's where the name is coming from. Um, so this is where the round course continues. And this is where the rhinos are. I want to see the rhinos. So let's go for the... Oh, look at that. Um, that's the new, new building of the South American Savannah. Interesting. We're going to have a look at that in a second. I want to see the rhinos first. This is where the rhinos live. Oh, look at all these things. They are used to like clean them off and stuff and, and keep them off. So there's one of the rhinos. Yeah, it's like, a, you know, one of these typical zoo rhino habitats. Very open, very um, simple and, and just like a huge amount of land for them to roam around in. Make, it, it just makes sense, you know? There is no reason to, to do something else. It just makes a whole bunch of sense. Okay, we're gonna go further in here. This is the South America Savannah. What else am I gonna... So that's a tapir. Love that one. The birds tapir. And then on the right-hand side, we finally have the llamas. Look at them. And also the emo roaming around with those. Yeah, yet again, another habitat, typical zoo. I love this because this is yet again something so, so typical to like German city zoos where they have like all the bunch of kind of all the logs they found lying around just threw them onto one and waited until it's overgrown with like nettles and stuff and moss and so on. This is typically how these uh, things work. And you've got all the zoos. They look very similar to each other because they share the same architectural style, which makes sense because most of them have been built in the same time. And most of them have, have been built in a time where obviously zoos were a lot more problematic. Like, not that they're less problematic when it comes to the general idea, but, you know, the, the overall um, approach on zoos is obviously a bit, uh, if not far better than it was and then it used to be. So uh, I'm very happy about that. But then again, you, you do still find a lot of these old things uh, in zoos that you technically would not do like this anymore today. And still they remain. And at some point, you can't even do too much about this. Like the, there's like one of the biggest issues about Planet Zoo at some point is, and it's not really that much you can do about this from a game standpoint. Also they have capybaras in here. Am I really seeing that correctly? That is so cool. Cute little capybaras. Um, you know, most of the animals don't care about their plants. The only thing they do care about is space, privacy, food, and um, making sure that the food they do eat and the plants that they do eat do not kill them. So that's all they care about. So they don't really care about if the plant is from South America or not. I mean, and if they're born in a zoo, it's like they... How should they even know what kind of plant they should have liked or not you know what i mean it doesn't make sense like this is this is one of these things that does not really make any sense but i get it from a standpoint of a game perspective you know um have we been there this looks fun but i'm not sure where we are oh look at that the little goats um oh sheep that's the, the sheep not goat what is in here Ah, uh, that's the lynx habitat from the other side. Okay, so we're gonna continue our round course, which is over here. So yeah, capybaras and tapirs and more tapirs and more animals in general. I'm just gonna continue the, do a, the, the video is already 33 minutes long. What the heck? I thought that was a small zoo. <laughs> okay, oh, there's a playground. Yay, we need to go to the zoo. I'll spend the whole day here because my little daughter will just stay here the whole time. It looks fantastic. I wanna go on the swing. Wee, wee. Wee, 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 wee. Um, we're gonna make this for the next five minutes. Wee, wee. You can click to another video if you want. Wee, wand, wee, wee, wee. I'm a little kid. Wee. Can I do it? Wee. Okay, never mind. My stomach feels weird now. Okay, so as we've done that, I want to go to the slide. Do -do 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 -do. Run up here. Yay, I'm on a roof. I'm on a roof. Come down there. I'm on a roof. I'm on a roof. I can't get down, right? No, I, I did this and I just cannot get down. Get down with the trumpets. The only thing I get down with is the broken leg here. Uh, come on. Just... And... Jump. And... Jump. <laughs> I can't. I want to go to the... Yeah, there you go. Okay, made it. Ha! My insane skills made me get down here. Um, okay, let's just keep on running for a moment. I've got too much energy. I've got too much energy for the zoo, okay? So we grab the snack. I want to go into the Tamandua house. Okay, what the heck? Interesting. That's... Is that the German name for the anteater? Uh-huh. Oh my god. I was about to say that's a little rat, but it's obviously the Amadio. Um... <laughs> 
how small they are. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's the most barebone old habitat I've ever seen. Um, and that's by any means critique to the creator. It's just like how Zeus do it sometimes. I don't want to, you know, mess around with this. It's like too boring. Oh, look at that. You can even see the rhinos from this side. That eventually looks a lot better. Also love the, you know, the security fencing here around this. Look at this. That looks cool. That is also screenshot worthy. Hello to Dortmund Zoo and the wonderful rhino lying in the sun. I can like this. I think I like this. Okay, so this is where the exit goes. Um, <clears throat> there's the jaguar. There's the lion. Oh my god. Why is there so much going on? The lemurs as well. I, I have to get to an end. Holy crap. Okay, so if that's the round cause, I'm going to take this with a bit more running. Hell, I thought the zoo was small. I looked at it from above and I was like, yeah, nah, that's you know, half an hour. But yeah, it's me talking again all the time. Um... Bollerwagen. <laughs> this is where you can get some cards. These are huge. Uh, this like, seems to be like a side entrance. Okay, we're gonna storm all the way here. Uh, this is like a crazy open field. What is going on here? This seems to be like... What animal would live in here realistically? This is like where you put giraffes and zebras and yeah, exactly. That's like an African savanna. Habitat, that's kind of the size you would normally go with. Uh, what is in here? What did we miss over here? Oh, this is the llamas. Oh, that was not the llamas we saw previously. That was the alpacas. I'm stupid. <clears throat> Didn't really pay too much attention. Okay, so the fennec foxes live in here. You doing good? You're not in here even. Okay, so are you on the other side? Fennec foxes? Okay, maybe outside. Um, Let's continue going over here. That's a huge habitat for them. Awesome turtles to represent Fey. I really love the fact it's actually lying there how it's supposed to be lying there. That is at least very good. Okay, so this is on the right hand side of buffaloes. The water buffalo. Ah, oh, love it. Love it. That looks good. That's a huge African savanna, by the way. It's huge. So what is what's that? The giraffe over here? Wait, are they roaming around free? Ah, uh, no, they're not. This is enough to keep them... Okay. Well, it's interesting. Who's living in here? Who's that? Oh, look at them. Hello, my doggo friends. Oh my god, I haven't seen them in, in so long since the beta of the game. Um, I think this is backstage, right? Can we go in here? Well, is that like a house? That's a new... Oh my god, meerkats. Look at that. This is where the meerkats are. Wait, then, then this is obviously a proper house over here. So if the meerkats are on this side, this is maybe just fake. Okay, let's go in. It's a new building. Very, very new one. 2022. Uh-huh. Interesting. You can see some meerkats, I guess, in here. Oh, you can see the giraffes from over there then, obviously. That makes sense. This is the whole African area. Okay, let's uh, exit here. Oh my god, this is the habitat. Yeah, no, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go out here. Is this, did they really create a dead end like that? It makes no sense. Okay, I hope they didn't because that's like a we weird way of putting it. Um, yeah, I heard some interesting sounds already. Uh, lemurs all over the place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look at that, the shims as well. This is this is what I saw at the beginning. Oh my god, this is also such a cool shot uh, with the sea monks in here. Chimps, my god, my brain is so fried. There you go. Can you do variation for us? Come on. We deserve. Yay! We deserve that. Choppy, but it does work. Choppy, choppy, choppity, chop, chop. <laughs> we deserve that. That is also such a cool shot. Oh, I can't even tell what shot I'm going to use because it's so good. Yeah, this is where the African animals all live in. Makes sense um, to put them all in one region. Uh, I gotta say... This is really cool. I do always love these islands, and I do love if you're bold enough to make the water this, like, murky, greenish. I tend to not do that for the same reasons, but it looks realistic. It just looks realistic. It makes sense. And it's a good usage of stones to make it look good from the outside. So this should be then the lion area. They're all spending their time over here, so maybe there's someone. Yeah, there's someone lying in there. <laughs> it's lying there. Okay, never mind. Sorry, that was that was too easy. Let's go into the lion house. Can we see something from the inside? Boom. Someone in here? Nope. Someone on... Oh, look at that! They're all in here. Hello, my friends. 
Yeah, we should just have waited for a second out there and then we should have seen them. But we did not. Hello. Okay, sweet. We've seen this. Um, I very much love the fact that you can go through here. And where, where do you go in? Oh, okay. So you're then to the outside. That's a cool line, Habitat. Really love that. Hello, little lioness. You doing good? I hope you're doing good. Okay, so we take that outside line then here. And we have some more Vista points. Really love it. That's a good house. That's a really good house. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Who's living in here? I saw something already. Very typical as well. I can't pronounce the name. It's not a German name. Uh-huh. Interesting, interesting. What the heck is living in here? Who is living in here? Gazelles? Oh no, that's just a common deer. Uh-huh, that makes sense. Or is it the red deer? I can't tell from these models anyways. The red panda. Hello, my friends. Yeah, unfortunately, yet another typical city zoo habitat from its size and from its style. Very typical. You tend not to see much more in most of the classical zoos. Here's where some gazelles live. I completely lost uh, where we have to go. Okay, so this is where we go. Um, kangaroos. We missed on the roos. The roos should be somewhere. Yeah, that should be where the roos are. They're taking like a photo over here. I just saw them taking a photo of someone. I thought it's just a group photo. Did they just take a photo of the... That was the first time I ever saw that action happening. The first time ever. And that was of a single person. So interesting. So this is where the roos are. So we, we covered the roos as well. So this is where the exit in the tropical house is. We go, we go this path and uh, just go to the playground and then back. I think this is where we need to go. Okay, so to the left hand side is the exit and the round course. And right hand side is playground. That's where we came from. Okay, interesting. Now let's go into the tropical house, I think. Oh, who's living in here? <gasps> I know that bedding! I know it! This is mine! Hello, my friends! This should be the ringtailed lemurs. Please be the ringtailed lemurs. Where are you guys? Oh no, it's a, the capuchin monkeys. Even better because that's the original capuchin monkey thing. Oh, that's mine! Love to see that. Hello! Lovely. Okay. Tropical house. That's our last endeavor. Who's living in here? Ding, ding, ding. Again, yet my bat. Love eat. I think love it this has been the, the phrase I've been saying the most in today's video. I guess I like what I'm seeing. I'm, you know, I, I didn't get the drill of what is implied and what not because with those uh, city zoo rebuilds and recreations, you have to go into a lot of implied habitats because frankly, most of the city habitats and city zoo things are the ones that are very hard to recreate because a lot of these animals either are missing or they are, well, you have to say it, abused in a way that you can't do it in the game because the game is meant to be more focused on, you know, the, the right way of using these animals. I'm stuck again, I'm sorry. Raised path is something that the explore mode just can't handle. Um, and I assume that the tropical house is exactly this. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Like, there's no water in quite yet, but oh my god, this is such a cool idea with the um, with the pipe over here, having the water spill in. It's not a pipe though, it's, I forgot the name for it, but yeah. Uh, there you go. Okay, actually, we've got some exhibits down here where there is some life existing in, at least some animated life. I mean, actually, it's all animated life. Yeah, like a pool. Again, tropical houses and stuff is unfortunately one of the things that you can't really deal with. Um, who's living in here? Okay, so I think we've been here. So this is where we came from because I remember seeing this greenhouse from the beginning. And then this is where the fountain is. Okay, cool. So I think we missed out on this habitat. This is where the flamingos are. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Have we seen this one up there? Not sure who or what is living in there. Let's have a little peekaboo on, on this side. I think this is something we forgot. So let's do this real quick. Uh, not sure if, if we saw that or not, but I'm just going to... Oh my god, that is steep. <laughs> just bringing my ankles again. Uh, who's living in here? Hello, my friends. Tell me. This is the dromedary, maybe? Who did I miss out on? 
Okay, never mind then. We gotta have to get this to an end anyways. 45 minutes! What the heck? Who is even watching this? This is going to be a video with the worst view through rate ever. Because it's like going to be so long. But I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting today. I'm like, I'm gonna show this because it's really good and I like it. And you know what we are doing? Um, we are actually going back to the entrance and I'm gonna switch into the overview mode so we can have a look at this from uh, the sky. So let's just right off do that. So let's go into the free look mode, fly up here. So that is the zoo. I have no freaking idea how the round cars have worked, has worked, but I think we made it somehow. Uh, this is the lion habitat from above. It looks so different from above, but look at that. It looks, it looks very doable, doesn't it? But my God, has this been a journey? This has been really, really fun to do. I mean, yeah. That was good, and I really, really enjoyed doing this. I really hope you guys had a fun time. At least I know I had a very fun time. Uh, it was a very good one. Like, I, I miss doing a tour every now and then, and so here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I hope you guys are going to have a wonderful weekend. Leave a like and, uh, you know, download this and like it in the workshop and give the creator some love. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to see more stuff on my channel, you better do click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And other than that, yeah, just enjoy your weekend. I talk to you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.